beginning with the open version of our D-glucose, as shown on the board, let's see what the products are of each one of these reactions. So first recall that whenever we have an open D-glucose molecule, it will interconvert into the cyclic version. And eventually we have a dynamic equilibrium that exists between the open version of D-glucose and the closed version, either the alpha or beta, D-glucopyranose. So basically we take our D-glucose, we first mix it with bromine in water, we produce product A. Or we mix it with sodium borohydride in water and we produce product B. Or we mix it with our methyl iodide and silver oxide to produce product C. So what is product A, what is product B, and what is product C? Now we already actually looked at each one of these reactions in detail. So let's simply state what the products will be. So in A, the first thing to realize is we have an oxidation reaction taking place. And what will be oxidized is the aldehyde group. Now this is the cyclic version of glucose and either alpha or beta D-glucopyranose does not have an aldehyde. This is the hemiacetyl version. The aldehyde is found on the open chain on this D-glucose. And so the uh, bromine in water will react with the D-glucose, our open version, and so this aldehyde will be oxidized into a carboxylic acid. So instead of this aldehyde, we'll have our carboxylic acid group and everything else will be left as it is. So basically A looks something like this. We have our carbon attached on one side, we have our carbonyl group attached to the other side we have our OH so we have the second carbon the third carbon the uh, one two three four the fifth carbon and the sixth carbon so we have CH2OH we have OH we have OH we have H OH and then H on this side OH on this side H here and an H here. So basically this is the product of this reaction. Now let's move on to product B. So what does product B actually look like? So what is this reaction in the first place? So this was an oxidation reaction and this is a reduction reaction. Basically here our molecule, the D-glucose, will be reduced. Now once again the only section that can actually be reduced is the aldehyde. And the aldehyde is found on our open chain and not the closed chain. So that means this sodium borohydrate will reduce this aldehyde group and then the water will basically protonate the oxygen to transform our carbonyl group into a hydroxyl group, an alcohol group. So the product will look like this. So let's basically draw the B product right over here. So we have our first carbon which basically is transformed into the following molecule. So our BH4, NaBH4 basically adds the H atom onto this carbon and then the water molecule protonates this oxygen so we form this alcohol group. Now we have the second carbon, the third carbon, the fourth carbon, the fifth carbon, the sixth carbon, and these basically remain exactly the same as before. They don't actually change. Here we have an H, here we have an H, here we have an OH, and here we have an H. So this is the product of uh, reaction to this is B. Now what about C? Well this is basically a reaction in which we methylate our oxygen. So we remove the H's and we replace them with our CH3. And the reaction mechanism includes the deprotonation of each one of these H's and they act nucleophilically to attack the carbon and basically displace our I, our leaving group, the I died. So 
Now notice it's this section that will react and not this one. So this is the one that predominates. So we're going to have much more of this at equilibrium than this. And so that means all of these open OH groups will be replaced, will be methylated. Now in reaction one and two, we had to react with the open case because these reactions only take place with the aldehyde group. But this doesn't need the aldehyde group. And so this will react with our alcohol groups because uh, it will react on the alcohol groups on the cyclic case because it's the cyclic case that will predominate at equilibrium. So the product will look something like this. So we have our let's draw these as coming out of the board. So the oxygen here. So this will basically change to a methyl group. This one will also change. Essentially every single open hydroxyl group on the cyclic ring will change, will be methylated. This oxygen will not change, of course, because it has a bond between this carbon and this carbon. 